This is Cloud. He needs his spurs trimmed. What you do? <laughs> Grab your rooster by the feet, the legs. You know, be careful not to stab him with his own spur. They will go through their legs. It's not fun. Okay, you flip him upside down. Cloud's a very well behaved boy. Yes, good dog. Okay. So you want to hold both legs the whole time. Have some nail clippers, dog nail trimmers, and a nail file. This one is for dog claws. You can use a regular one. I've just got a bunch of birds, so it's faster and easier. So, what you do is you take a flashlight or a phone, and in my case it is a flashlight, turn it on, and you want to shine it through the spur. Now, I don't know how well you can see it. Move him closer, good boy. Um... I'm not sure how well you can see it. He's being so well behaved for me. Yeah, I know, I know, buddy, I know. He's unhappy. He's like, why am I upside down? What the heck? Okay, so you shine your flashlight through the spur, and hopefully you get... ...to see a little bit of it. But there is a darker spot, a reddish spot in there, where, um, there's, you know blood stuff. Okay. So, looking through it myself, I should pretty safely actually be able to cut off until about here on his, on that one. And it shouldn't bleed. So, hold both his feet so that he doesn't flail, because it feels weird. See, I didn't go up as far as I could, because, again, I'm going to file this. So, I'm taking off smaller chunks, because I don't want to go too deep too fast, because, you know, I don't want to hurt him. Some people will just twist it off. That's fine for them, I guess, but for me, I don't like that. So, I'm going to file it down. got a much blunter tip. So if he's walking and he walks wrong, he can't stab himself. Which we have had a bird that stabbed himself, so I might do him next. Um, so again, I want to see where is his quick. I don't want to hit it. This one, this bird has been a lot more worn down. So I'm not going to cut it as high, because I will hit quick here on this one faster. So I'm going to take very little off. And again, file. Now, I, as you can see, they're a lot, um, they're a lot less sharp now. They're still there. If he decides to try and fight someone, or if there's a predator and he's gotta, you know, beat him off, this lot, uh, it's a lot duller, but it's there, and he's still got a defense. So, I know some people will pull him out with pliers, I just can't do that. But, so, then, you turn him back over. <laughs> You hear him grumble. He's fine. You're a good boy. And that's all.